you. Watching the first take, let's bring you this story. Gun-related violence persists in Cape Town. Police are on the hunt for four men who killed a police officer in his home last week. The Western Cape Community Safety Committee Chairperson, Reagan Allen, joins us from our Cape Town studios. Mr. Allen, thank you very much for your time. Firstly, let's start with whether or not the South African National Defence Force is still patrolling the streets of Cape Town. Good morning. It's good to be here. Yes, the South African National Defence Force is still patrolling, working in conjunction with the South African Police Service in order to bring crime down. It is hard so. It is a real factor that on the Cape Flats we have under-resourcing. We have a matter of, with the President noted during his State of the Nation address, that his key priorities would basically be under-resourcing of SAPs in order to better curb crime. He spoke about that he is hoping to have a more effective training towards SAPs, but also to increase visible policing, which will all speak towards creating a safer an environment. Mm. Um, as a standing committee on community safety in the Western Cape, we are alarmed that, that more is not being done. We've heard it before. Um, it's not the first time that we've heard this. And if we consider that these priorities have been in the pipeline for a number of years, hence um, the committee will continue to, to keep SAPS in the Western Cape accountable together with the Department of Community Safety in order for us to bring about a safer environment in the Western Cape. Mr. Allen, so the SAN Defence Force is still roaming the troubled streets of some uh, areas in Cape Town. How is it possible that a police officer can have four men allegedly storm his home and shoot him dead whilst they are still roaming the streets? You've also, I think it was last week, where you had new recruits uh, in Cape Town who are going to fight crime. What, what more can be done, essentially, uh, in Cape Town to try and fight this scourge of crime? It is, like I said, it is a real factor that crime is real in the Western Cape. The South African, um, the South African National Defense Force was never going to be a silver bullet. It was going to help SAPs in order to eradicate crime. We've seen how SAPs need to not only be better trained and effective, but crime intelligence needs to be up in order to be alert to these factors. Um, last year we had another colonel that was brutally killed and this is now the second one, and it speaks to the men in, and um, it speaks to the men and women in blue that is committed towards keeping a safe environment. But if they are under threat, um, um, under threat, how much more don't communities and residents feel? Mm -hmm. The president noted that the aspirations and the fundamental aspirations to South Africans, to residents of the Western Cape, is to live in a safer Western Cape and in a safer South Africa. Hence, it is alarming. And more definitely needs to be done. I, am, I, um, I took heart from the president in where he said that he is working towards a whole society approach, um, mm. which is definitely a leaf out of the Western Cape's mm. handbook, because we understand that it is that whole society approach, that even though SAPS has a vital responsibility, uh, we need all stakeholders on board. This the scourge is not abating, Mr. Allen. Uh, is it fair to say that uh, even crime intelligence is actually failing in this regard? I would say yes, sir. Crime intelligence needs to be upped. We need to ensure that the training of detectives are better equipped. We need to ensure that detectives aren't overloaded with case dockets and that more boots are on the ground. Hence, in the Western Cape government, a step towards putting extra law enforcement officers on the ground in conjunction with the city of Cape Town. We are hoping to see that those boots on the ground will ultimately bring about more visible policing, will bring about more a sense of comfort and of security for residents in the Western Cape. All right, uh, Reagan Allen, thank you very much uh, for your time. He is uh, with uh, the city of Cape Town's uh, Community Safety uh, Committee.